What's up, everyone? I'm number nine. I'm here with my brothers. Yo, what's up? It's Baby Rich. Yo, what's up? It's Baby Bus. And we're here, chilling, Friday night, October 1st. So you know what that means. We gotta go night hiking. Yeah. Yeah. Right now it's 12.06. That's in the a.m. Shit. So it's basically what, Saturday? Right? Yeah, it's basically. Basically? Yeah, October 2nd. So October 1st. October 1st. What is your favorite scary slash horror film movie? Uh, I'll go first. So I'll say Nightmare on Elm Street. Because like I was like thinking of the thought like, damn, everywhere I go, like I can't even sleep. Because then I get stuck in that shit. Like there's always someone attacking you. Shit. And now <laughs> that shit was... Uh, yeah, yeah. But then Rich, what about you? Oh, uh, hell yeah. I mean, one movie that it really like like had me like had me as a movie was like the first Halloween movie by John Carpenter yep. that one it's like it's, it's such a creepy vibe like when you feel like he's stalking you and you kind of see him in the background just staring you know like and you don't even know who he was you know it's just a crazy guy coming out of uh, from the jail you know and how about you how about you Woods? yeah mine right off the top always Uncle Sam um, that fucking movie scared me because it was uh, basically a fucking Dressed up in the American fucking flag and popping up at random places because he was a fan that, that uh, got killed in the war and he was coming back to kill all the veterans that didn't have his back. Oh, damn. Yeah, so I, I would see that motherfucker pop up like imaginary while I was driving home, like yeah. in flaggers. Yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah, that, that, that's crazy. Yeah, y'all gotta watch Uncle Sam. Fuck that movie. Yeah, Uncle Sam. Check yeah, it out. <laughs> Any crazy, like, memorable kills that you, that you remember from the, from the, from the first? Um, I'm on Elm Street. Yeah, I would just say basically the the um, the typical uh, scene where either um, you know they're laying down on the bed and then like all of a sudden you just see like someone levitate right in front of you all the way to the ceiling and all of a sudden yeah. get slashed up. Yep. That's crazy. Like, how does that even happen? Like, is there some brujeria on here? What the fuck? Yeah, yep. okay. Well, not on me. Someone killer else. from the dreams. Fuck that crazy. shit. Yeah. That shit yeah, took me out. And covered in blood. It's because like he, he's he's on he's um everywhere you go you can't get away from not sleeping you know right 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 you gotta sleep you gotta take a rest you know what I mean you gotta relax and let your mind do its its thing you know in a steady pace you know. <laughs> nah, for real, it's a classic classic movie right there. Though. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Favorite Halloween candy. That's a good one. Like that candy that you can you you eat say. chilling while watching your favorite movie for 15 minutes before you go outside and do something else. Me, anything with uh, caramel. Ooh, anything with caramel. Uh, nougat. Yeah, Give me awesome. like a Caramello or something like that. Yeah, like, it's got some walnut or some uh, yeah. or some nougat or some peanut. I'm good. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down for all that, you know. Anything Caramello. <laughs> brings you, it's because it gives you that nostalgic feeling when you were a kid. <laughs> Hell yeah. No worries, nothing. I would say Reese's uh, Cups. Reese's Cups. Oh yeah, those are good. Yeah, yeah. I always got mad at Re the company Reese's because thought it was selfish that they would just put two little cups now they put four in that bitch yeah oh, oh hell yeah oh, got the king size <laughs> that one i still get it to this day <laughs> to this day it's uh, even though you know it's just one little Reese's cup you take your time with it no nah, hell yeah i love oh, it man i love the peanut butter in here yeah, i fucks with it yeah fuck it you guys like candy corn though sometimes As, yeah sometimes sometimes I'll pick it up, yeah. yeah you get sick of it just I like agree. regular corn yeah. i'm down for it sometimes but like if i eat it like I can't eat it like on a regular basis. Okay. On Friday night, we came to do our monthly night hike, you dig? Monthly, at least once every two weeks if we're lucky. Yeah. But yeah. we came to do a hike and we're at the top just chilling, you know, doing our thing, you know, in the West Coast. So, Rich, it's Saturday. What do you have planned today? Uh, right now, it's just relaxing, it's just chilling right now, you know? Coming to Mount Rubido is very, very um, reminiscent of our times from back then, you know, when we used to come here. And we did the Righteous Mind music video here. Come through our teeth. As the sound waves travel in and out of my ears, I'm not counting up the homies, I'm just counting up the years. Every day, every night, every moment in the light turns to darkness in a second. Don't you reckon? Well, I might step up to the fucking plate. Rip a funky rhythm and rock a piece to relate. Might it like a ceiling your face. Right, like, you know, we, we, hey, they should. It's a real calm spot, and we'll be just doing our thing, you know, making it all the way to the top, getting a nice view of downtown Riverside. 
I mean, it's summertime. It's really like real chill and vibe right now because right now we're creating um, Legal Paper Boys, the album, where we probably like two, three sessions left and then we're just doing our thing, relaxing, getting a good view, you know? Yeah. Riverside is nice to, to look from afar, you know? <laughs> what about you? What about you, Bugs? <laughs> What are, what are you doing today on this Saturday? Oh, yeah, uh, on the start of your weekend? You know, just uh, get the night, get the, get the day going with a nice mind, and uh, see where it takes us. Yep. Yeah, a lot of opportunity. That's right. That's right. Yeah. A lot of fun things to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and start decorating my house with some fun. Yeah, it's like, it's creepy know. as shit that I'm probably scared of myself. Yeah, it's yeah. Halloween stuff. So, huh? Come home drunk and scared, getting scared of your own plastic. Imagine tarantula. you could get the. Imagine you could get the. What's that one monster thing that jumps at you? Like, oh hell, I hate like, that one. It's like a robot. Or, that shit's it's scary. a robot. Thing, comes right? out of the comes out of the mailbox. Yeah. That should be sick. Fucking <laughs> scary. That shit's what is it? That's almost get a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, no. There's a real. There's it's an actual the, like. What is fuck, it? There's a monster that comes out of like a mailbox. Like you want to say? Right. Where it literally is it pops out and it just. <laughs> <laughs> I think it came out in American Dad too. It probably gives some people heart attacks though. Fuck yeah. Fuck. Damn. People get got heart attacks from the from the. Movie. Yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, like, the one that was scared me was when there was, like, the killers, like, sitting on the chair. Oh, man. Oh, I, I never had the balls to fucking get candy from that shit. I was like, fuck, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, you guys have a story about Mount Rubido, or what do you guys have? Yeah, yeah, there was this guy that, uh, that we were, well, we were hiking with, like, more people, and um, uh, we see a guy just standing at the edge before where we're standing at currently right now, right at the curb, and he starts, like, Approaching us, and he was looking straight downwards where he was looking like he was going to jump. And he says, um, I want to kill myself, I want to die. My girl just broke up with me, and we go, Where's your girl? <laughs> and this is where we realized this was full of shit. This yeah. girl's up at the top of the fucking mountain with her friend, and she just broke up with him, supposedly. And he wanted to die. And then he goes up to me and, and Duan, and I think Rick, and he goes, I'm the devil. No, I, I don't think, think it was so. three of us. So no, no, it was four. That was more than one. For Maybe. Me, sure. It was one more person. Maybe Rick. I think it was Juan. Somebody tells me it was Juan or Okay, Frank. probably. For sure it was for us because there was a lot of us talking about that fucking shit when we got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Juan. It was probably Juan. Yeah, it was probably Juan. Because we, we, we wouldn't have been as. Oh, didn't he go right through you? Who? When he, when he was passing by right there? That, when he was trying to like approach us and like kind yeah. of like, telling us the devil shit? Like, okay. Yeah, that was scary, man. When you first saw him? I was like, what the fuck is this yeah. guy doing? And then we see it when his friends are coming down, we're like, oh, this was fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, that was a stupid ass game. Nah, but that shit was like. It was random. I was like, nah, does this want to kill himself? What the fuck is yep. it? Don't tell me he's going to kill himself on the day I go hiking. Or, That's or, what I was thinking. Like, I was like, nah, come on. Dude, well, how, how many times have we seen that scary shit where people say it's scary? Where uh, Alex was with us, Mulu was too, with us too, when we saw the fucking white owl at the entrance of the room. Oh, yeah. Flapping yeah. his wings, the like chusa, they call it. Oh. And our Latin people, so back to legal paper, paper boys, our roots, uh, in our in our culture, it is known that when you see a lechuza, otherwise a white owl, you know, yeah. it means somebody's gonna die or there's death in there. Oh right? shit! Bullshit! I seen we saw how many times? Yeah. Didn't, um, that shit. That's how we know a lot. A lot of our, a lot of, a lot of the thing back to it, it relates to Halloween. We're conditioned to be scared just because of our parents and our Latin culture. A lot of things to scare us, mm-hmm. just like Yorona. Yeah, no, that was Chupacabra. Chupacabra, a lot of shit. Kukui, right? Kukui. Kukui. And you know damn well. So no between way. those three, uh, La Yorona, okay, La Yorona, Chupacabra, and Duende. Oh my god! Right, because yeah. like I was watching this podcast. Shout out to Rose Kranz Vic, uh, Letty from uh, at her Instagram Letty Sego, right? Remember, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From, she's a great radio host and uh, interviewer and commentator and what have you, right? Host? Yep. And then shout out to Duno's. Shout out to Duno's World, right? Big boy for a while. Uh, he, uh, Duno, he, he's a pretty funny comedian. Uh, he's a podcaster and he does a lot of hosting gigs. Mm-hmm. But shout out to them on their podcast called The Brown Bag Podcast. They're talking about. Um, just a, just a thought of um, Duende, La Llorona, or La Chupacabra. But how I would ask it is, right, is like, which which would you rather more fear and which would you less fear, you know? So out of those three, Duendes, Duendes running around, stealing your liquor, 
like, hey, get that back. No. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. uh, like Rona that pops out of nowhere yeah. for no reason. Like, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just walking to school and I see it uh, on the side of the river, you know? Yeah. Or chupacabras where you're a farmer and all of a sudden you, see, you start seeing dead goats, dead cows, all that shit. It's just like dead corp corpse laying on your field, you know? I'd say, I'd say it'd be uh, the chupacabra could be the fear of the unknown. Uh, you don't know what's what's killing off your fucking your livestock. Your cattle. What the hell's attacking them? Yeah. Or what's making those marks or bites or whatever? That shit freaks you. Yeah, yeah, that's number one for me. Chupacabra. That would scare me. Yeah, because yeah, the duende and that. What the hell are you doing in my house? That's invasion. Just kick him the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> fucking get the okay. fuck out. Okay. And the, uh, yeah, no, Chupacabra, that's number one. And then the Yorona, you just don't open your And Yorona is only if you if you go out wandering. Go outside, yeah. You're not supposed to. You True. Know? That was the story, right? That's why your parents were scary telling you. Hey, yeah, I'm so, uh, hey, if you're Yorona. looking for trouble, Yorona's out there. You're going to find that bitch. You're going to find that bitch. You know? yep. you're gonna so, find that bitch. Nah, I ain't trying to. And the Duendes, they were the privacy invasion. And then, and then <laughs> how, the how high? How, what's, the, what's the height of a Duende? Like two feet. Two feet? Two, three feet, really. And okay. Then the, and then the fucking Chupacabras, what's scary is there's nothing you can do to prevent you're gonna run into them. That's what they were saying. Yeah. Okay. You're outside Chup alone. Chupacabra are pretty much a species, right? Yep. Like, be like, and then there was proof because there was a lot of there was, in Mexico. There was a lot of cattle, a lot of animal livestock that was getting attacked. And yeah. They didn't know what the fuck it was. So uh, they would have your parents would have kind of some proof. You know? Like Jeepers Creepers, yeah. that type of animal. Yeah. That was like crazy, right? That's one of the other favorite ones. That one, fuck. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that one Jeepers leaves you Creepers. fucking shocked. You don't want to go outside. You're gonna get taken away by a fucking. Yeah, and even in the cornfields, like just getting lost, and then just seeing all the corn start going down, like what the fuck? I don't even want to know. I'd be like, I'm going back inside. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's sell the house. Fuck that. I see that shit. But... Sell the house. <laughs> <coughs> I remember when they were so happy. I have no idea why. They literally in the movie they threw, they threw some kind of bullet. They shot. They shot him with some kind of fucking cannon. And these idiots, instead of running away, they're like, you know, you you as a child, you're like scared and shit. When you're an adult, you're like, run away, just drive the bus and go. Why are you waiting for him to get up and start crawling? He starts growing arms, and that's when the movie continues. Oh and yeah, those ones, hey, that, that should creep me out, you know. And that's why some of them don't have good endings at the end, also because uh, they put so much good into it in the middle. Right, right, right. Yeah, you're, yeah, you know, saw, hostage. Like Blair Witch, remember that one? Fuck. 